super easy. Trust me, if I can do it, you can do it. I'm Emily Vukovic. Thanks so much for joining us. We're going to be talking about today's weather and we're going to get you into the weekend where we do have really nice conditions expected, but we have to get through a stormy Friday before then. So we do have that risk to see some pretty decent thunderstorms firing up throughout the day tomorrow and temperatures, they're going to stay relatively close to seasonal. Now yesterday we saw daytime high of 28 degrees, felt more like 35. What a difference a day and a cold front can make. Today, only 18. Elsewhere across the province, we're seeing some sunshine, 19 degrees through Barrie, only 17 through Hamilton, Niagara getting up to 18 degrees. And then tomorrow, increase in cloud cover throughout the morning hours. We'll see some prefrontal showers, possibly an embedded thunderstorm. And then the real storms, they start to fire up later on in the evening and through the overnight, anywhere along the shores of Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. Now the risk map, it's probably going to be ever changing for the next 24 hours or so. We are going to be seeing the potential for some severe cells firing up. We could be dealing with very heavy rainfall, torrential rain, and some very strong wind gusts. Now right now it's so far down more so to the southwest, but that could certainly change as we get into seeing what the atmosphere does tomorrow and how unstable it continues to get. All right, daytime high of 20 tomorrow. That is seasonal. That is exactly where we should be, but I've got good news. The weekend looks great. We are going to be seeing sunshine and 23 degrees for Saturday. Nice day for Sunday in Oakville. And then as we get into the beginning of next week, it's almost going to be a little return to late summer weather. All right, here at the Weather Network, we love to showcase the hot spot and cold spot around the country. Here's Tyler Hamilton with a really cool story. Happening through the evening and then again another round through the overnight throughout southwestern Ontario. Thanks for joining us. I'm Emily Vukovic. It is Thursday. It is the 12th of September. Monday, it's a big day here. This is the release of our fall forecast. Monday, September the 16th. You're going to want to stick around for this because this is going to give you a really good indication on what you can expect weather-wise for the next couple of months. Now what we can expect today not a lot. We've got a few isolated showers throughout the better part of the morning here and there throughout the GTA, but by the afternoon, we should be seeing some sunshine. We've got a nice ridge building in the jet stream, which means into next week, we are going to be seeing some late summer like weather. The heat is going to rise and we are going to be seeing that kind of uh, autumnal sun, if you know what I mean, a little lower in the sky, but it's still going to be really mild, which I think a lot of people are happy about. Today, we're cool. We're only seeing a daytime high of 18. Yesterday, we got up to 28 degrees. It felt more like the mid 30s when you factored in the humidity. We do have this front coming through. This is throughout the day tomorrow. We've got that increase in cloud cover. We've got those prefrontal showers and then the thunderstorms are really gonna start to fire up throughout the evening and through the overnight. And some of these could be severe in nature. We're looking at the potential for some very strong wind gusts and some torrential downpours. Temperatures tomorrow, they're gonna stay close to seasonal. We're seeing a daytime high of 20. We will see a fairly decent day before the cloud cover and the storms start to roll through. But then look at Saturday, beautiful conditions, tons of sunshine, 23 degrees. And here is a quick peek at next week and what we can expect in terms of those warmer temperatures. All right, everybody's heard the myth. Can temperature swings make you sick? Take a look at this health and weather.